Hi, this is Sin. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a simple sequential workflow and add um, conditional branching to the workflow. And it's quite simple. Simply drag conditional branching, if else, into the workflow. Now I'm going to extend this workflow by asking the user for their age. So the first thing we want to do is add a variable in the code behind a public property for the user's age. Let's go back to the workflow here. I'll rename this activity to ask for age. Double click that to add code behind. Console.write line. Put a line break. Uh, please enter your age. Okay, we're gonna change that to just a right. And then this that age will equal to convert to int32. It'll be the console.readline. We're just going to assume that the user will enter a valid integer. Well, once we have the age, what we want to do is um, put some conditions so that it will either execute code A on the left or code B on the right. And it's quite simple. There we go. We're going to um, use a declarative rule condition. Click on the plus sign there. And click on the dot 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 here. I've already defined a um, condition previously, but let me go ahead and delete that so you can see how I created that. So what you do is click on new, type a condition. This which refers to the code behind really, or the current um, workflow. Age, which is that new variable we added, is less than 18. And you can see it just gives it a generic name of condition one. You can rename that to minor check. And really, that's that's all that we're checking for to see if the age is less than 18. And if that condition is true, then this um, branch of the conditional um, branch here will execute. So we need a piece of code to execute here. And this one we'll call user is a minor. We'll also want one when the user is not a minor. And we'll call this one user is an adult. So let's add a code behind for user is a minor activity. And we'll simply print console that right line. Just the use placeholder for the username. And we'll do the same thing. Let's add the uh, code behind for when the user is an adult, when their age is greater than 18. I'm just going to copy the previous uh, block of code there and just change this to. Okay, very simple. Let's go ahead and go back to the workflow and test our workflow. So that's the first part of the video. It's asking for the name. Give it lower since Yoko. Please enter your age. I'll say I'm um, 30. And it tells you Lori since Yoko is an adult. Now if you run this one more time, this time I put my name as Sin and I'm 13 years old. And you can see that Sin is a minor. Once again, this is Sin, and this has been a quick demonstration on how to take a simple sequential workflow and um, gave it some conditional branching.